An Auckland councillor is calling for all public electric scooters to be pulled from the city streets until it's clear what caused the death of a rider in the city centre. A 59-year-old man died while riding a Lime e-scooter last night, the first fatality linked to e-scooters since they arrived in New Zealand last October. Some riders say the accident was waiting to happen and Auckland Council's Christine Fletcher says the scooters need to go until the safety of the riders and pedestrians can be guaranteed. Our reporter Nita Blake Person and cameraman Nick Munro filed this report. Police and four ambulances rushed to the scene of the crash on a footpath alongside Auckland's busy Fanshawe Street shortly before 10 o'clock last night. A Lime scooter could be seen strewn on the ground while emergency services investigated. The scooter in question, as well as the computer which records its trips, has now been passed on to police who are investigating. In a statement, a Lyme representative said they were devastated by the death and that they had been in contact with local authorities to assist however possible. Today very little evidence remains of the crash. There's a small pool of blood and police tape. Lyme and Auckland Transport aren't commenting on the incident, saying they're waiting for police to investigate and police are appealing for any witnesses to get in touch. In the meantime, we're not sure whether it was the scooter itself, a medical incident or other factors which have contributed to this death. And Auckland councillor Christine Fletcher says there's no time for officials to wait to find out what caused the accident. I have written today to the CEO of Auckland Transport and the chair of Auckland Transport to request that they urgently look to remove e-scooters from the streets of Auckland until we receive the coroner's report. There was a second electric scooter incident just down the road from last night's death today when an Auckland Transport employee was hit while getting off a bus and was taken to hospital. Auckland Council is currently in its second trial of e-scooters with three companies available for hire, Lime, Wave and Flamingo. Lime scooters were temporarily suspended in Auckland and Dunedin in February after a braking glitch emerged with 30 people injured as a result. Christine Fletcher says there are a large range of issues with the way the scooters have been rolled out and it's time for an urgent rethink. We can't afford to have these sorts of accidents happening and I would really implore NZTA, Auckland Transport and all of the parties involved to actually do a review of the regulations around their use. Nobody wants them banned completely. We just want to be assured that the uh, the standards being put in place for, for usage are going to provide safety for Aucklanders. But on the streets of Auckland today, riders weren't convinced scooters were the problem. We did hear someone was killed on the line scooter last night, but hey, you know, we drive pretty slowly, so you take a risk with everything that you do, whether you're on a rugby field or driving a car or a bike, they're a great way of transport. You feel totally safe? Well, not totally safe, but, you know, as safe as you do on anything that we do today. Would you think twice before hopping on a Lime scooter now that someone has died? No, I would not. Uh, I already think twice in the sense, you know, taking care and being safe. Um, I don't think this affects me. I've heard of, of other countries overseas with similar accidents um, and, and it just means that I want to ride safely. I've crashed once, but that was my own fault. Um, you just got to be sensible and keep your eye out for everyone on the road and it should be fine. Uh, there are people that go down like Queen Street on the footpath, I think that's wrong. But generally, like here there's, there's bike lanes that you can go up and down, it's really convenient and easy. No, I don't like them and um, I think they're dangerous. And I don't think that they should be used uh, amongst pedestrians as they're being used. The Transport Minister, Phil Twyford, says the government is currently working on regulations for electric scooters, including speed limits and restrictions on where they can be used as part of its accessible streets work. But he maintains the scooters have been rolled out well in New Zealand. You can see by the level of take-up, particularly in Auckland, that people love them. They are using them on a huge scale uh, and uh, they have particularly have the, the, um, the chance to actually provide people to get from the first and last mile of their commute. So that's valuable, um, but you know we, we are going to regulate to ensure that uh, the users of um, these scooters um, can share public space in a way that's safe and reasonable for everybody. Police are appealing for any witnesses to last night's scooter accident to contact them and the death has been referred to the coroner. In Auckland for Checkpoint, Nita Blake person.